interesting, weird, fascinating, religious cults all over the world, yeah. cannibals, wow, that's the opening, the first show. Yeah. So that's interesting also. So let's go on and watch the next clip that you selected. Yeah. He wants me to bathe in the water and then he wants me to drink it. And you may not know this about me, but I have, I'm like a germaphobe. I, this is, like, I don't want to be an American asshole or anything, but there is no way I am getting in this water. I mean, this is one of the most polluted bodies of water in the world. I mean, forget about, like, the ashes that are dumped in here. I actually have already seen three different cow carcasses. One I think was a cow carcass. It had a backbone. I couldn't even figure it out floating in this water. Okay, so what do you think of this? This is the most disturbing clip for me, personally okay. speaking. Okay. Because, number one, he's basically saying that the holiest water that Hindus consider is the most polluted water in the world. Okay? Uh, let's not get into the details or the semantics about the pollution that is going on in Ganga and, the, and also the attempts by Hindus to clean the Ganga. Yes. Number one. Number two is uh, he uses profanity. Like, a, you know, he's showing that I'm like a typical American guy standing here, not to sound too American, but he's sounding American. So it's like a, a weird language that he's using. He's showing dirty water in the background, uh, cow carcass flowing as if that's like a normal thing going on. He's showing dirty people, dirt all over the place. And essentially showing that Ganga, which he in the uh, clip after that shows that Ganga is one giant toilet. This is the word that he uses. So the holiest water that Hindus use for their uh, spiritual practices, bathing and stuff, is considered the most polluted and one giant toilet. This is a big problem I have personally. So, Parth? I would also add on to that just to sort of elaborate on this point about not focusing on, say, the Indian government or organizations like the Gaitri Parivar, which have committed to cleaning the Ganga. It gives the impression that Hindus and Indians are not concerned about the pollution that happens, that, that Western interventionists, Western interlopers need to go and show us how to do it, that Correct. we're not aware. And so not only, not only uh, okay, one is who's solving the problem and cleaning the Ganga issue, but I would also point out that the Ganga for throughout its history, for a very long history, description of the Ganga by native people, by foreign visitors, ch Chinese, all kinds of visitors, has been of a very pristine, beautiful, yeah. beautiful river. Yes. And the pollution is a product of modern industrial yes. society. So you could also attack modernity and the influence of westernization, a lopsided westernization. Uh, so you could say rather than traditional Hinduism, on the one hand you are attacking tradition, like caste. Yes. That's right. On the other hand you are attacking modernity, but without calling it modernity, which is the pollution, which yes. is pollution is not a traditional Hindu thing. No. No. So this whole business of industrial pollution uh, and urbanization, which has nothing to do with Hinduism, is also being blamed on Hinduism. That's I think correct. that's an right. important that point correct. To, to, to make. Bottom line is everything that comes here that's dirty is all Hinduism. Well, what our problems are Hindus, but you know, we cannot call yoga Hindu. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, can, we cannot call no, that no. because that belongs to all of us. All of us, exactly. We cannot call the meditation revolution Hindu. We can call it neuroscience no. or, or Christian centering prayer and That's all correct. that stuff. But you know, whatever we don't like, we're going to label it, brand it as yes. Hindu. Everything that's dirty becomes Hindu. Yeah. Everything that's oppressive becomes Hindu. That's yeah. what we have seen so far in the clips. He could have shown the beautiful gods, which are very well photographed in the world. If you do a search on Varanasi Ghats, you'll find beautiful pictures taken by millions of photographers out there. But this guy decides to focus on some uh, garbage bags, some dirty kids, you know, uh, swimming, or some dirty carcasses flowing. I mean, as if that's like the normal thing that you see, yeah. right. essentially. Excellent. Right. So let's move on to the uh, next clip, please. Now he's, being, he's not polite with me, and he knows. Oh my goodness. That's not the agori that I was looking for.
definitely feel like I've taken a long turn in this episode. Okay, so what do you think of that? This is incredibly disturbing. It's not only graphically disturbing, it's almost like soft porn on, on a national TV. But uh, now you're showing a very, very bizarre, out of the context uh, picture of Hinduism. That you came to see a ghori. Now you have a particular view. He says after this guy is done urinating and throwing urine around, he's saying, well, that's pretty much not the ghori that I was looking for. So he had a preconceived notion of what he's going to say. So our ghoris who are supposed to open the caste system, become reformers, are supposed to be some kind of people out there that he already has a conception about. And this graphically, uh, the graphical image that he's showing here is a shock value that to a normal American Western audience was like, what the heck is going on on the camera? You're showing a, uh, a Hindu uh, spiritual person urinating, throwing this. This is like the Temple of Doom uh, kind of flashbacks that people are getting. Now, this is what you will, people want. If they want to show a denigrated Hinduism, you're going to take this clip and broadcast it wide and show this is what Hinduism really is. Yeah, and just so, to sort of elaborate on that point, um, this is sort of his money shot, right? Yes. He uses this in his promos throughout. Um, and so I also think it's not uh, faithful to the Agora Sampradaya, right? You're getting some random Baba, uh, and then that Baba set be essentially becomes his guru. He says, Tu mera chela banega kya on the beach. So this is sort of the distortion also of the Guru Shishya Parampara that we have within Hinduism um, that's sort of shown through this clip. Yeah, well, Rajiv, let me ask you a question, Rajiv. Um, do you we know, have more clips? Or be yeah, we have another clip, so maybe clip. we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that this is kind of a pretty ridiculous thing to show because, you know, without the context, without the, I mean, it would be different if he had a show not on Hinduism, if he didn't introduce it like that. Right, if he exactly. Said, if he said the strangest, weirdest uh, cults and organizations around the world, and showed some Christian people doing weird yeah, things and exactly. lots of weird things happening. Of course. And some Muslim people and Buddhist, Buddhist people. I mean, you could go around and it has nothing to do with religion. You could find such people who are non-religious, no. who have nothing to do with their faith. If, if he had fit this in as one of many in that context, it would be a different matter. But he frames the whole thing right in the beginning that he's going to go to India. He's gone to India and he's going to tell us about Hinduism. Hinduism, exactly. So this is his framing of Hinduism. Exactly. And hence, suitable material, CNN sanctioned to be shown in schools all over the United States. That's correct. That is the game that concerns us. Yep. So let's see the final clip, please. Uh, so, okay, so we're done with the clips. Yes. So, okay, so let's... Uh, 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 what are your general uh, views and what do you think people are s saying about this? So uh, I'll, I'll give you some uh, personal uh, uh, background. Uh, when I came, my first introduction to the United States was when I came here when I was 15 years old. Uh, I went to an English class and for entertainment they were showing Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, there's a girl sitting in front of me. Uh, right when the scene of monkey brains comes, she turns around and she goes, do you eat monkey brains for lunch today? Uh, and I was like, what are you talking about? And I didn't, it didn't register to me. But since then, every single morning when that girl ran into me, her name was Jennifer, I still remember it very clearly, she would ask me every morning, did you have monkey brains for breakfast today? Then this continued on. So this is like a sort of bullying. I mean, I was strong enough to avoid that. But I'm sure many, many students, youth, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, face this type of nonsense. And I have, I have a, a six-year-old daughter. Uh, I don't want someone to ask her in the morning, hey, did you drink your milk out of the skull today? Or do you urinate on people when see, they come to your house? See, people don't realize that this is the age when you know, people just take a few second clip and make it go viral. That's correct. That's, yes. that's what we're all about. Yes. That's right. So people aren't, it's, some people have written to me, oh, you've got to watch the whole thing and understand it analytically, logically. That's not how the human brain works. If you are a lawyer, uh, you know the importance in trial. Uh, to show some little glimpse of the other side which discredits them and the other lawyer will make sure that this is disallowed. This is, th this is why it's done. Because even though you look at the whole situation, you might say, well, I just gave a little compromising data. But the other guy knows that you put this poisonous uh, thing in the minds of the jury. So they don't want it. That's, yes. that's exactly how that's a right. brand gets damaged. You show some damaging things. You show a Coca-Cola ad with some garbage in the neighborhood, Coca-Cola is not going to like it. So when you're talking about branding, when you're talking about uh, how the West brands itself, spends a lot of money to brand itself called soft power, and how devastating it is for other cultures, yes. then you can see the significance of this. 
because obviously this is unfit for an introduction to Hinduism. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, it's unfit for young young children in the United States, young white kids to who have you know Hindus sitting in the class to be watched to be shown this movie. It's unfit for that. That's correct. Uh, okay, but it it has been put out as a mainstream uh, thing on Hinduism by uh, CNN. And I think that's uh, irresponsible. Yeah, see, Rajiji, a couple of things. Uh, one, we have already seen uh, teachers asking, yes. uh, can we get a clip of this? Can we get this documentary to be shown in sixth grade? Sixth grade Hinduism or classes on ancient India. Okay? Or world so now, cultures. Or world cultures. Or, or pluralism. Yeah. Multiculturalism. Yes. This is multiculturalism. Yeah. What an exotic culture you come from. Exactly. You, you, uh, Nikun, you're, you are coming from a very exotic culture. I was very fascinated by the yeah. naked sadhu running around yeah. and peeing on everybody. Exactly. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that's nice. I mean, this is the sort of usage uh, that they're setting us up for. That's correct. Exactly. Because clips of this will go around here and there. Yeah. And if you want to bully a Hindu, this is a good material for you to do that. That's correct. Yeah. You're bullying of Hindus, uh, also not just happening in, in schools, but also outside. You may lead to racist attacks. It may lead to homophobic or uh, Hindu phobic attacks, saying, look at this white, uh, this brown guy sitting there. You know, look at his ancestors. They're peeing on people, dirty people. Get out of the country. You know, that kind of a attitude starts to develop amongst people. Already yes. we have people saying, leave my country. That's correct. Yeah, we are civilized, you are uncivilized. Yep. This yeah. sort of is putting uh, oil on fire. Yeah, yeah. this is a typical, like the whole idea of like white man's burden, you know, that the natives are uncivilized, dirty people, whether you're from Africa or you're from India or anywhere else, Latin America, you're an uncivilized native and it's my responsibility to show how uncivilized you are. And then it's, now it's my responsibility to reform you by either converting you, by feeding you all kinds of uh, Western stuff, anything that goes to destroy your culture and your tradition. Yeah, we saw the day this documentary came out, a man in, uh, in California, a Hindu-American man, 41 years old, PhD, uh, he had a PhD, he was uh, verbally attacked in a parking lot and he sought help from the police and he was unable to get it. So we've seen these attacks happening increasingly over this past week, past two weeks, and so for a documentary like this to come out at such a sensitive time is, is really shocking. You know, and the strange thing is, towards the end, he sort of does it cover your ass thing, yes, like saying, yes. oh, this is not typical Hinduism. This is like I frame you in court. Yeah, I put all kinds of stuff on you. Yeah. And then just to cover myself, say, oh, you know, this is not all there is about Nikun. He's also a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so but he just never elaborates on what is nice about Hinduism throughout this documentary. Exactly. 29 minutes, approximately, out of 41 minutes, are spent on these horrible things that are cast weird cannibalism, uh, weird practices, dirty giant toilet Ganga, 29 out of 41 minutes. Now, if I was, and I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an academic or anything, but if I was a, just a regular person, if I'm watching 29 minutes out of a 41 minute documentary, that's a lot of garbage that I'm watching. And then for the last five, 10 minutes, you're telling me good things and you don't even talk about the solid good things, just generally that now I will drink some water out of Ganga. Now I feel a little bit better. All oh, everybody should be happy. This is how the world is supposed to work. Blah, 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 nonsense. After you just pummeled my entire tradition and culture out there. Yeah. So uh, I don't think the redemption for CNN uh, is uh, asking them to ban it because they've already shown it. Right. I think the redemption is